You're right, guys. Clinicality here, back today, bringing you another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player review. And today we are reviewing the inform Riyad Boudaboos from Montpellier. He has already had a Halloween card this year, and I didn't get a chance to try it. So when I saw this inform, I thought I had to give him a go and see just what he was capable of doing. Now you can see on screen that the team that I built him into is mainly a French league side with a few Premier League players in there at the back left corner. And after two games with this team, I actually did change Cavani out for Mukanjo, and Mukanjo definitely performed a lot better. On to his in-game stats now, and his physical stats are definitely not the best. 84 agility is pretty nice, but that 64 strength definitely doesn't look very good to me. His skill attributes, however, look amazing. So many greens in there. 84 ball control, 87 crossing, 84 curve, 86 dribbling, 93 penalties, 86 short pass, and the list just goes on and on. He is 5 foot 10, he can play cam or centre mid, left footed, medium low work rates, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills which is really nice, and he has the flare trait and that finesse free kick trait. So jumping into the clips now, and you can see on screen out of the 6 games that we played, he managed to score 4 goals himself and set up seven for his teammates. And that seven assists definitely doesn't flatter him. He could have had so many more. I mean, seven assists is great, but with the amount of passes he played into these strikers, absolutely pinpoint passes, he could have easily got into those double digits. And for me, that was his best stat. His passing was absolutely amazing. Long passing and short passing. I believe he has 80 long passing and 85 short passing. But for me, it felt so much better than that. This guy played every pass pretty much spot on exactly where I wanted it. And so, as I say, he could have had so many more assists. Now, another big standout on his card is his dribbling. Really nice dribbling. He has 84 agility, and so he turns really, really well. And he has four-star skill moves as well, so you can pull off some of those fancy tricks. And the last big standout was his positioning. This guy was always in the right place at the right time. He loved getting forward. I did leave a clip in where he actually got back and made a tackle and he did that a fair few times as well. But obviously the danger for this guy is when he is on the attack and he really did love going forwards. Now there are a couple of weak points to talk about. The first being his strength. Obviously being a cam you don't expect him to be the strongest of players. And also although his close range finishing was pretty decent his long shots really weren't that impressive. For somebody who had 85 shot power and 81 long shots on his in-game stats. He really didn't hit the shots quite as well as I thought he might be able to, which obviously was a bit of a shame, but overall he did perform pretty damn well. So I'm going to give him a rating of 7.5 out of 10. He's not going to blow people away, but he is a pretty nice card. And for a price tag of only 15,000 coins, he is basically discard value. And so in terms of his value for money, he's definitely going to earn a 9 out of 10 for me. For that price, I highly recommend you guys pick him up and give him a go. But that's going to be it from me. If you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful, then don't forget to drop a like. It is greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you are new around here as well. Also, we are starting to fill up the player database of all the players that I've reviewed. So I will leave the updated one down in the description as always. That's going to be it from me though. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.